People are always curious to know how I travel around London independently, especially using the London Underground. If these same people are not from London, they're even more curious as to how I do it because for them it seems really confusing and quite a complex system. I personally used to think the same thing until I started doing it as a visually impaired person and now I live in London, I'm always using the underground. The underground has a turn up and go service for those who are mobility and visually impaired, helping them get around the underground safely and effectively. I generally use this service if I'm going to new places in London that I haven't been before. However, if I know where I'm going, I tend to do it on my own. This particular clip shows you me traveling on the underground on different parts that I don't usually use and how the service works. I hope you enjoy it. Excuse me, do you want to wait here next to the help point? Someone yeah. is coming down. Now. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Anyway. Thank you so much. Now I need to go on the Victoria line because I know that the Circle and Hammersmith and City is closed today. Hammersmith and City is closed today? Yeah, so I need to go on the Victoria line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I take your elbow, please? Thank you ever so much. Uh, no, sorry, she's not escalator trained. Okay. Thank you. Julia to Echo Raman. Julia, to anyone can do a ramp job up here. We have a good job, 8 o'clock train. Good job. Hey, good job. Yeah, basically, with the three, with the two. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, from here okay. they'll help you. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you. No have problem. a lovely day. Take care. Thank you. I'm uh, going to Paddington, you? please. Going to Paddington, so you're going yeah. to um, Oxford Circus? Yes. Yeah, okay, no that's problem. where I'm thinking. I'm on my own in a moment. Let me give the control room a call and then right. I'll have to send somebody down. All right, brilliant. Thank you so much. I don't, can you sit, please? Oh, the train you prefer. No, I can go on any part, really. Keep in, darling. Okay, I'm all right. It's like maybe the back of this train. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Sorry, do you know if there's any staff members on this platform at all? Uh, yeah, I think there's a help point, but I'm not sure where it is. Oh, thank you. Yeah, can I take it? Thank you. I'm going to Paddington, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. And they just called me on the radio and said, Gary, <laughs> got a VIP downstairs. Oh, never mind. And, uh, but sadly, King's Cross didn't move forward. Ah, okay. Right, we're coming to the stairs. Okay, find the steps, darling. Good girl. Okay. Thank you. Well, 
Oh, okay, perfect, thank so you. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hi. hi yeah, I'm good, thank you. Can I take your elbow? Yes, Thank you. I'm going upstairs towards the um, Paddington Bear shop. We can take stairs, she's just not escalator trained. So say that again? She can take stairs, but just not escalator trained. So should we take the stairs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Find the steps. Once again, I'm not seeing the station is the pair shop. I don't know, I'm blind, so. <laughs> I don't know myself. Uh, Normally we take people to the uh, National Rail um, Right. Office. Yeah, I have people meeting me though when I need to catch that 8.30 train. Right. So I need the Paddington Bear shop, please. Oh, you're meeting people there, are you? Yes. All right, let's find out where the shop is. Last someone. Boss, excuse me, boss. How are you doing, you all right? Where's the pear shop, please? How well? The Paddington Bear shop. Okay. Well, not yeah? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Okay, right. Come on then, Ida. Quick, quick. In this video, I travelled from St Pancras to Paddington. The usual route I take had planned engineering works, meaning I needed to go a different way. As you can see, the service of Turn Up and Go was really useful for me as a blind person. But what I will say is, unfortunately, TFL Turn Up and Go service is pretty hit and miss. I've had some excellent support and guiding, and I've also had some really terrible assistance in the forms of them not turning up to meet me or not giving me adequate directions. I just wanted to highlight that traveling on London Underground as possible when you're disabled because there are services out there. But what I will say is if you have a negative experience, it's really important that you put in a complaint. And it's not to make the service look bad, but it's actually to improve the service. I've been told by many of the Underground staff to put in complaints and follow up when I've had negative experiences because they need to make the service equal across the board. Have you ever travelled on the London Underground with a disability? How was your experience? I'd be really interested to know. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you an insight into how I travel independently, although with some assistance, using the London Underground system. If you want me to do future videos like this, then just leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!